thought about minor pentatonic, E minor pentatonic, like that. But we are, we are using um, only the first string, so I use the notes E and G, and actually I will keep my left hand in this position and I will change only the position of the right hand, so uh, the sequence is like that. Then, then I change this note that that is an A to a B. These notes are from the, the same scale in minor pentatonic. So I go to D. Then I bend the, the string with my finger here on the neck. Of course, uh, the, the, the force Comes, comes from my left hand here. My left hand, my left hand is bending the strings, not, not the right hand. Okay. Okay, this first phrase is really simple. Uh, I'm doing triplets, and uh, here I, I'm, I'm thinking about different chords. I use my first and fourth finger of my left hand most of the time, and I'm tapping with my second fin finger of the right hand. So the first chord is in E minor. I'm doing this ascending tapping here. Then I move just this finger. So the E minor became becomes uh, C major. After that, I have a G sus. And then uh, here we have uh, G major. Uh, then this is an F with a uh, sharp eleventh here in the top. F major. Then B sus, B, B seven sus, B seven. which is the fifth degree of the scale. So it's kind of pedal point and I keep my right hand playing only one note, only A here on the seventh fret of the first string, okay? So I do. For every note of the scale of D harmonic minor, between every note, I play an A, this note here. So, and every four notes, I start again the descending pattern from uh, the next note. Bye. Now,
This one is pretty much the same as the, the last one, but it's his uh, ascending version. So I will again keep my right hand in the same place and I will start here with these four notes of the left hand. And then I go to the next degree and after that. But always putting this note between every two notes of the left ram so. Okay, this lick is over E minor pentatonic and the sequence is like that. It's a triplet, a triplet phrase, a phrase using triplets, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I will do the same with the next string. So not, not, not that when I change the string, I change it with my third finger and it's a hammer from nowhere, I just, just hammer this string. So I do the same in the next two notes of the pentaton. famous position but we have next one is like that so in this position I have one note that doesn't appear on the previous position in each string one note the notes are and these notes uh, they will be tapped with my second finger of the right hand so this is the sequence sequence I do the same in the next string always respecting the notes of the scale you will change the, the strings always with honey from aware sometimes with your fourth finger sometimes with your third it doesn't matter It's just C major, but instead of using uh, three fingers or three notes per string and the three notes played by the left hand, I use two notes of the left hand and the third note will be played with my right hand. So. Pay attention, when you change strings, you have, sometimes you have to do a hammer from nowhere with the first finger of the left hand. Uh, this is not simple, as simple as you can think, because your hand we have more space to do this than to do the opposite way, so you have to get used to it.
This one is over the diminished chord, diminished uh, arpeggio. So I'm thinking about this shape here, which has this inversion in it. So you know that uh, the, the diminished chord it uh, it has a symmetry. Each three uh, three frets. You have the same thing. So I think about the same thing I'm doing with my left hand, uh, two positions above. So it will be like uh, okay, three notes. Yeah. Again, lots of hammer from nowhere here. Some of them with my first finger of the left hand. Just like that. from where with my first finger of the left hand again every uh, change of strings so it's like that four notes I play three notes with my left hand and one note of my right hand then I slide the notes from B to D. This one is based on eucatatonic minor again. And okay, on the left hand, you know that on the pentatonic shapes. The simple shape, normally you have two notes per string, right? So I will be alternating between the first note of one string and the second note in the order. The first in the order and the second in, on the next, every time like that. So the left hand will play. On the right hand is really simple. I play everything on the 90th fret. So it's like again lots of coming from nowhere, sometimes with the first finger, sometimes with the third finger or fourth finger. Four note arpeggios with string string skipping. So I start with uh, E minor seven. I play the root minor third and fifth degree here on the string. Then I jump for the third third string here. So the G string I will play the seven, the root and the minor third third minor. Same on the first uh, string, the fifth, seventh, and root. Then I change for F major seven, G seven. So.
minor pentatonic again with my left hand I use this four on my uh, on my right hand I'm using this one here like over this this E minor chord here so the sequence is like that but every time I do that I change the string one string on the G string so I come back to the second string but one fret lower same thing on the D string then I come back a whole step on G string on this band here I use this idea on the first uh, Black Widow's Web solo from Andres Omni album. <laughs> and on this idea, I use only uh, perfect fifths on my right hand. Here with my uh, left hand, I use the notes of the E minor pentatonic again, so... I change strings uh, using tapping, so it's a little bit easier than doing hammer from nowhere. But we have here some string skipping as well. This kind of arpeggio where you use two notes per string, like the seven, root, one, fifth, and the same in each group of two strings. So it will be like. Seven chords. <laughs> 